Vasai Delta and today we are going to take a small interview with Dr. Rajiv Shivari, a uh, child specialist. So sir, my question is, what are the role of hormones in mental and emotional growth and development during adolescence? Okay. So you people are concerned about the hormonal imbalance during adolescent phase. So we all know there are different phases of life. Initial, initially, uh, when child born, that is called newborn. After one month, child becomes infant. So till the age of one year, we call uh, infant. After infancy, uh, child goes into preschool age group, toddler. Sometimes we call them toddlers. And after preschool age, child goes into school age phase. So till the age of 10 years, uh, this is called childhood phase. So after 10 years, adolescent phase starts. And we consider up to the age of 19 years, adolescent phase. So, adolescent phase is the phase which lies in between the childhood phase and adulthood. So, from nine, 10 years to 19 years, we consider adolescent. So, as child goes into adolescent phase, some basic um, changes, physical, mental, and cognitive changes happens in the body because in this phase there are there are sudden uh, rise of some hormones which are responsible for the physical strength and some sexual maturity. Sir, what they are those hormones? Okay, so uh, there are many hormones, but uh, I am concerned about two main hormones which are responsible for mood swings mood changes those mood changes that happen in day to day life like stress and uh, anxiety and social anxiety phobias so uh, there are two main hormones in girls estrogen hormone is responsible for physical well-being and mental well-being and in boys testosterone hormone is responsible for physical and mental well-being so these are two main hormones which are responsible for the growth of child and growth of child into adolescent phase and these two hormones are responsible for the uh, adult some other hormones are also there. Uh, I think you know you have heard about adrenaline yes. and uh, cortisol, steroids, cortisol hormone. These two hormones are stress hormones. Whenever we remain in a stressful condition for a long time, these two hormones, level of these two hormones rises. And if we remain continuously in a stressful situation, the receptors of these hormones are also increases in number. So stress leads to increase number of receptors and further increase the stress. So these vicious cycle starts. So these two hormones are responsible for stress. Some happy hormones are also there. Uh, you have heard about happy hormones? Yes. Okay. So there are mainly uh, four happy hormones. Important points I will discuss with you. One hormone is dopamine. Dopamine you have heard about. Dopamine is uh, very good for our mental health. It is also called main happy hormone of our brain. Second one is serotonin. Third one is Oxytocin. You have seen that uh, whenever uh, a newborn is uh, born, as soon as mother sees the child, uh, automatically 
breast milk increases breast milk start ejecting so this oxytocin hormone is hormone of love love between mother and child okay love between son and father yeah. so this oxytocin hormone is hormone of love okay another uh, chemical that is released in brain it is called endorphin whenever you watch some uh, comedy movie whenever do you do some exercises this endorphin is released and this endorphin is very important for healing some minor injuries in our body it is also responsible for reducing the stress okay so i think these uh, hormones we have discussed but you should know how to increase these happy hormones okay you will be thinking about how to increase these happy hormones and how to reduce the stress hormones okay so i will tell you uh, some important points to increase these happy hormones you people already know everything but we will line them up okay first and foremost important thing is physical activity okay doing 30 minutes of regular aerobic exercise whatever it may be cycling jogging running and swimming dancing zumba whatever you want you just do at least 30 minutes of aerobic exercise okay so this aerobic exercise it will increase and often you know happy hormone you will remain happy throughout the day your stress hormones will come down okay so 30 minutes of aerobic exercise is very important another thing we should eat healthy food okay we should not go for junk food regular basis okay i am not uh, stopping you to uh, eat junk food but it should be curtailed huh? we should eat junk food once in a while once in a week or once in a four to four night so stop taking junk food regularly include healthy diet in your diet plan healthy diet means balanced diet you have heard about balanced diet in your previous classes like diet should include protein fat carbohydrate minerals vitamins and everything should be included in the diet so healthy diet means uh, we should reduce the sugar content of the diet and refined carbohydrate should be reduced okay eat vegetables eat fruits uh, eat protein rich food if you are non vegetarian you can eat fish meat chicken egg all this thing you can eat if you are vegetarian you can go for pulses legumes uh, and uh, so the diet we have to improve the quality of our diet so we have discussed two things exercise and diet plan these two things can increase the happy hormones third one is proper sleep in the night eight hours sleep at least seven to eight hours sleep is very important not only sleep but good sound sleep okay so we we should sleep at least 7 to 8 hours daily in the night because during sleep time our body regenerates cognitive function our brain function memory grasping power cognitive function enhances increases during sleep if we do not sleep properly then what will happen stress hormone again increase will yeah. this stress hormone will badly impact the health and mental development okay so sleep is also very important another thing you can do you can listen uh, beautiful melodious musics if you like listen music 
another thing you can do you can just uh, make a chill with your uh, colleagues with your friends go outside enjoy uh, talking with them and uh, play some games so these all things are very important other than study everybody is study but along with study we have to follow these basic rules of formal healthy and fruitful life for development of brain okay so if we reduce the stress level our mental health and physical health will be at the best okay so we have discussed about uh, normal hormone fluctuations during this adolescent phase and this adolescent phase is very important for our future whatever uh, things we make during this phase it will decide our future so foundation is here only we have to make our foundation strong and this is the prime time to make our foundation strong and how can we make our foundation strong following all these steps have to be study 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 not only study study is only uh, the thing we are uh, we are doing but study only study is not important along with the studies physical activities, physical activities enjoyment chatting with your friends going outside going movies okay playing games all these things are also important it will improve your communication skill it will improve your overall personality okay so any thing else you want to ask me no sir okay so you are satisfied with all these things yes yes sir okay so mental health physical health emotional health cognitive health yeah. these all very necessary for making our foundation strong okay thank you thank you